Well done, you two. <laughs> Forty years, eh, Stanley? I know. The great train robber's only got thirty. <laughs> <laughs> you crack that joke once more and I'll stick that nine-iron right up your ass, Sylvia. <laughs> oh, hello, George. We've just exchanged rings. It's a gallstone. <laughs> I hope you'll be very happy. Where's your ring, Arnie? You can't see Arnie's, but I inserted it myself. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Janice. Holly. Hope the speech goes well, George. I'm sure it will. Listen, Janice. I... I've done the portrait for you, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Holly. It's up there. Ready for you to unveil. Good. Listen, Janice, there's something... Ah, my man of the moment. Janice. All ready with your words of wisdom, I hope. Ella, I, I think you should get somebody else. Oh, it's too late to be modest now, George. You'll be fine. And as I said to Alan Titchmarsh at the launch of my new charity, Celebrities in Need. <laughs> Tip to you, I said, if I had your money, I wouldn't still be doing my own gardening. <laughs> How we laughed. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now I'm going to hand you over to George to say a few words about Ella and Stanley. You better not let us down. He's a changed man, Stanley. Um, we're here tonight to be with two very special human beings. Ella, you're an amazing woman, I think. Um, any other woman on earth would have been bored to death by Stanley years ago. <laughs> Droning on and on about his golf and his model railways, but not you. You may not love him, you may not even like him, but you've stuck by him, and that's what makes you amazing. <laughs> Stanley Dawkins, you're a saint. How you've put up with Ella all these years, <laughs> without putting a bullet in her head, I'll never know. <laughs> Someone had to marry her, you did, and thanks to you, the rest of us can sleep easily in our beds. That a boy, George. No prisoners. Now, we've all had our bad days, but they've had 40 years of bad days. And they're still smiling. Well, they're still together. Anyway, uh, I don't want to keep you from your food, especially you, Ella. And so I'd like to unveil this portrait, which I've painted myself. I only hope it does your relationship justice. I give you Ella and Stanley. <laughs> oh, my God. A proper husband would have stopped him. Unfortunately, I married an idiot. No, that's a pot calling the kettle black. And a damn big pot, too. And I hate your hair. At least it doesn't come out of my ears. <laughs> Think we should stick to Wednesdays, don't you? But I should be wanting my ring back. That'll be a relief. That was the most disgraceful, embarrassing, insensitive, thoughtless speech I have ever heard. Welcome back. <laughs> What's going on, George? Last night, flash floods in Luton, George doesn't show. Earthquake in the Pacific, George doesn't show. He's erased his own memory. He's forgotten his thermal Oh, my God. He knows he's George Sunday. You are the a superhero from the planet Ultra. The meteor has unexpectedly changed course and will now hit the Earth in 24 hours. You'll die, we'll die, the whole planet will die. I'm going to hit it! <laughs> <laughs>